hello guys in previous video i shown you how to enable the queue and whenever we create a student record it is going to insert it in queue item automatically based on the uh, settings we changed so previously so whenever this record has been created automatically it is coming and uh, sitting in queue items part so based on some criteria uh, for example uh, sr no type or any condition based on that condition we want to push to uh, queues so here i have two queues default queue and test queue one so based on some condition i am going to push push to queue item or this or this so let's begin so in the student settings the advanced option we enabled this option when row are created or assigned move them to owner's default queue so i am unchecking this one so as it will move to defaultly the owner queue so i am unchecking and saving this changes so after that we will create a cloud flow and whenever a new record is going to create on student table so we will trigger that cloud flow and based on that value we are going to add to the queue so let's create a one cloud flow automated type So here I am taking the change type is added whenever new record is going to add it. So I will going to trigger this cloud flow. So let's choose the table here. It is a student table. So students and scope I am giving organization. So here whenever this record is created we want to associate or insert into a queue so to do that one let's add a new row in queue item table and that should be a part of some queue so let's add a new row to the queue item table so i'm selecting the queue items table and so queues will be so we need to provide the queue name here so queue name can be value can be taken from this one like whenever we open any queue so there you will find in the url the queue id just i am taking that url sorry a guid of q and i'm giving this value so q so it is going to insert into this queue so whatever the queue item we create that is going to insert into the default queue now so you see So here object the student is there here we need to fill this student table related information let's take this that value the student logical name student logical name can be we can get it from student record so whenever we open so in the url we will find the student logical name just i'm taking that value and filling here so student record guid can be provided here search with the student so unique id we need to provide let's so this is going to add a queue item and that should be part of this default queue let's save this one 
and test this one so q got saved so let me go to this one let me refresh the app once let's create a new record for the student table now student name can be anything just saving this value the student id is generated is 1005 let me check in the default queue now is it inside the default queue or not if you observe here the student 1005 is a part of default queue so we added using the this queue let me change this value so inside the queue i'm opening the test queue one and taking the guid of that queue and i'm pasting it in queues so miss this will insert into the def, uh, test queue one so let's save this one so whenever we create means if we create now any record in the student it is going to insert into the test queue one so it got saved so let me refresh the app and create the student record so i'm creating a new record in the student table just giving some value so i'm saving it so student id is 1006 now let's open the queue and open the test queue one now so if you see 1006 is a part of test queue one now hope this help you Thank you guys